right everyone hello and welcome back to the channel all right now so for those of you that had the opportunity to watch a video that i uploaded just a few days ago uh, uh dealing with the frauditor that we all know as anthony x aka lardass so again i say if you had the opportunity to watch the video i titled the video fake journalist attacks real journalists for exercising her rights okay and if you got to watch that video then uh you know that anthony x did that video as a way of getting back at a reporter who wrote an article about uh, Anthony X and his uh, BS frauded at a uh, Monterey City, uh, California City Hall. Whereas uh, uh, Anthony X went into that particular city hall and uh, was uh, approached by an employee and told that uh, uh, she was feeling uncomfortable and uh, why are you recording her? And uh, his response was that he was there to uh, gather content and that he was uh, taking uh, recordings and pictures of the facility, which I also pointed out in the video that how the hell was Anthony X taking pictures or recording of the facility when he plopped himself in front of the employee, aimed his camera there at her, and just stood there like an idiot for X amount of time waiting for her to uh, get into that back and forth argument that they all so desire. Now, again, uh, apparently uh, Sarah got a hold of that info and wrote an article and uh, called him out on his bullshit, okay? I mean, we, uh, we normal people that uh, know about these frauditors, we all know no we all there's nothing uh there's nothing about what they do is uh has anything about fighting for people's rights or or true journalism all they're doing is looking for the drama so that their uh subscribers can get off on it and they get the clicks and the views and so on well that's exactly what uh sarah wrote in her first article whereas uh i'll put a link in the description to that article and uh take the time and read it okay now if you got to watch my live stream which again i want to thank all of you that uh took the time out and uh hung out with us on that live stream to meet andre our officer andre well then you know i also stated that i uh was trying to get sarah the reporter who wrote the article in reference to on uh, in reference to anthony i should say and um i was trying i tried so hard and uh she emailed me back okay that uh, uh she was going to decline uh she uh preferred to just stick to uh writing okay and uh hey I gave her that respect. I uh, I stop uh, emailing her and twittering her and so on. And uh, now uh, in her email that she uh, sent me, she told me that she would be delighted if I would share her next article that she was putting out uh, in response to Anthony X's uh, video that he put out. Well, uh, now after reading the article, now I know why why she declined my offer to uh, uh, give me an interview on my live stream, okay? I'm going to give you the opportunity to uh, take a hold of this article before I jump in and narrate what she wrote. Give me a second here to pull it up. All right, now, so in her second article that she published, uh, uh, she wrote, We publish an issue of Monterey County Weekly every Thursday and an edition of our e-newsletter, Monterey County Now. Every day, some stories prompt a lot of responses and some just a little bit. But only once in her time as a journalist at a local newspaper has a story prompted doxing an organized online harassment campaign. All right, so let me stop it right here, whereas I think we could all get an idea of what uh, she's trying to point out here, that uh, in her time of being a journalist uh, and all of the articles she has written over the period of that time, uh, apparently this is the first story, which is dealing with Lardas, that uh, uh, she has come across an organized online harassment campaign, okay? So I'm sure we all got an idea of what uh, she means by that. And again, 
I say now I understand why she uh, declined to jump on the live stream where that would have been uh, furthering opening the can of worms okay now mind you these frauditors who are always spitting out freedom of the press uh, they're independent journalists and uh, and so on well uh, come on now uh, apparently her freedom of speech is not uh, not being respected here I mean freedom of the press really anybody with a cell phone and, and we're not just talking about somebody who just woke up one morning and uh, started calling himself a journalist we are talking about somebody who uh, who went through the proper steps to really be a journalist and you're now uh, knocking her and uh, if you got to watch that video you noticed that he called upon his subscribers to uh, reach out to her and uh, uh, give her your opinion of what you think about her article uh, dealing with his frauded at the Monterey City, California City Hall. Okay, uh, so again, I'm saying that uh, I'm looking to, uh, I emailed her and I'm looking to see uh, uh, furthermore what she means by doxing because if uh, uh, she states that he put out her uh, home address or something more personal, my God, when I tell you that I have his home address as well, as well as other information that I I think he doesn't want out there okay I will splatter that through YouTube in a heartbeat okay in a heartbeat and let me say for those of you that are gonna quick to be say oh Stephen uh, you're stooping to their level and you're no better than them and all that well let me tell you hey listen I'm gonna agree with you on that okay because uh, listen I think we could all agree that the longer we continue to play by the rules and that's why they win guys because they're dealing with uh, uh, law enforcement that plays by the rules public employees that play by the rules and they don't play by the rules so they have the upper hand on everybody well not with me I will fight fire with fire and if uh listen I'm not trying to be rude but I've already gotten a bunch of emails uh and uh you're no better than them and blah 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 well you know I would hope the same way you're taking time out to email me to uh I don't want to consider it belittling me uh, I respect your opinion but I hope you're doing the same thing to uh, the frauditors. Email them and tell them you're not happy with their actions of them going into these uh, government locations and acting stupid and disrespecting people. And uh, listen, at least I write back, I email back that I'm sorry you feel that way and I hope you could understand my way of thinking, okay? I'm sure that the frauder is not even going to give you that respect. He's either going to email you back and tell you to go F4 or... It is what it is. But again, uh, as long as we continue to play by the rules, they will continue to win. But let's get back to the story here where uh, apparently, uh, uh, again, I say we all got an idea of what she means that after she wrote that article and we saw the video that he was calling for his subscribers to uh, reach out to her and give you uh, give her uh, their opinion of what uh, they feel about her article that she wrote on him. Now, again, let's get back here to uh that's what happened on thursday may 11th when we published a story about a youtuber called lardass a self-proclaimed first amendment frauditor he and his other such auditors walk into government buildings with cameras provoke provoked she threw it out there and that's the way uh listen no sugarcoating anymore uh, they're not over there uh, exercising their rights they are provoking damn it provoking municipal employees into conflict then document said conflict to show alleged overreactions sometime resulting sometimes resulting in a call to the police and that's basically listen cut and dry she put it out there you, it doesn't get any better than this damn it okay that's exactly what these knuckleheads do provoke the employees into a conflict they upload that conflict because their subscribers want to get off on that okay and their whole intentions are to make that employee look stupid and they're hoping they're hoping for uh, uh for the police to be called because that makes the video more spicy now come on now you you can't tell me that she's uh not on mark on this one here she is spot on spot on 
All right, so let's get back to the story where uh, it's starting to get interesting now. Um, I guess it shouldn't come as a surprise that uh, upon revealing this behavior, the same antics were unleashed on the weekly. And that's the newspaper company now. Within hours of that first publication now, within hours, the phone started ringing incessantly. It turned out that uh, Lardass had decided to make a video about her urging his subscribers to do what uh, he usually asks them to do, which is uh, to call, email, and log their complaints. Well, while he acts with that sound in his voice like a uh, wink and a nod to be cordial, oh my God, she hit this on the mark, guys, okay? Let me stop right here because, come on now, uh, all of the frauders do it, okay? Uh, they call for action. They want their subscribers to uh, uh, give that individual that uh, is disagreeing with them uh, whatever location they uh, got kicked out of. Hey, here's their number and give them, uh, give them your opinion, opinion, but be cordial. Be cordial, guys, okay? And that's a way of covering their butt so that uh, nothing legal could come back and bite them in their ass, okay? That's where the wink and the nod comes in, okay? Listen, I'm sure we all know this, okay? But to hear a uh, real journalist throw it out there, it doesn't get better than that. She is so spot on on this, guys. Uh, and we all know this call to action bullshit. That's exactly what they want. Uh, we got kicked out of this location. Here, here's their number. Give them a piece of your mind. But be cordial, guys, okay? Be nice about it. Be respectful. And they already know. Come on now. These frauditors know their subscribers are, are not playing with a full deck. And that they're going to call, harass, uh, threaten, and all kind of crap, okay? And listen, if they do it to law enforcement, and I'm sure you guys remember when uh, uh, Long Island Audit Sean there got arrested in Maryland and uh, oh, people were threatening the officer, threatening the officer's life. Come on now, that's law enforcement. Can you imagine the shit that they uh, told this lady? And she's going to give a sample. Let's look at the sample of uh, emails that she got. Let's look at this. All right, so let's take a look at uh, a couple of the emails that she received from uh, the subscribers to Lardass here. Uh, the first one here, uh, you are a certified piece of dog crap, and uh, that's the nice way of saying it, reads one email from an address belonging to the name Bad Mother F. And then I guess he signed off with uh, F you ugly bitch. Now, that, <laughs> uh, respectful, isn't that? Huh? That shows you the type of mentality that uh, these people People who subscribes to the frauditors, uh, that's their way of thinking, okay? And the frauditors do know this. Now, uh, uh, back to uh, sexism seems to be pretty on brand for these messengers. Uh, one man who I spoke to on the phone, oh, uh, she got to speak to one of the subscribers here. Uh, phone called me honey, then toots. Uh, per one voicemail, maybe do hair or something because you're a, uh, a shitty reporter. Now, listen, uh, so far, uh, I'm not liking what I see because, again, I'm sure Lardass knew this is what he, uh, this is what he wanted, okay? Now, mind you, keep in mind, right, these guys who supposedly are fighting for uh, freedom of speech, uh, uh, freedom of press, we always hear them spitting that out. Oh, you know, the funny thing is, as long as it's uh, pertaining to them, yeah, they want everybody to respect it. But when it's somebody else, oh, come on now, tell me you haven't noticed that. Nobody else has that same right as them. It's only them that has the right to go out there running around aiming their cell phones at people and uh, being blunt with uh, law enforcement and public employees. But uh, somebody else does it to them and all of a sudden they're crying victim. You can't tell me that you haven't uh, seen videos where uh, uh, the frauditor has cried victim uh, getting the same treatment that they give others. That's a kick in the ass, damn it. All right, now, so uh, many emailers and callers go on to uh, caution her that this will follow her forever. And I think we could all agree on that, guys, that uh, anything that's on the Internet is forever. Okay, and uh, she is well aware of that. And some take on a vaguely threatening tone. Now, we all know you. 
Now, that I don't like. I just don't like the way they phrase that because that, to me, it sounds like a serious threat, okay? Now, mind you, as a reporter, she is reporting what, uh, what happened at that uh, location. She gave her input, and I think we could all agree that uh, as a reporter, she has every right to report to her, uh, the people that read her paper, exactly what happened, okay? It's not she, like she lied, she told exactly what happened. And because this knucklehead didn't like it, it didn't work to his advantage. It didn't make him look like uh, the real independent journalist that he think he is. Now he called on his subscribers to uh, uh, a call for action. Uh, call her, contact her, give her a piece of your mind. And again, I'm going to say it. I need, I need you guys to take note that uh, these frauditors, and we all know they do it, this shit is like a... You're threatening this lady for doing her job, okay? And I truly despise this fat, lard-ass man, and I, I hate to body shame somebody, but he is a piece of shit, okay, of a human. And you're going to attack a female. I That that just burns me up. And, and listen, I do apologize to you ladies out there because I don't like talking like this, but uh, it just it burns me up. And now uh, what is it here she wrote here? One emailer took an anti-Semitic approach, uh, I guess she's Jewish, okay, with a note that reads, uh, Sarah Nasty Jew going on to uh, deny the Holocaust and accuse Israel of 9-11 uh, attacks. Now, I don't know where this is coming from. That doesn't sound like that had anything to do with, uh, that might have been uh, another article she wrote, and this individual's familiar with her. Uh, but uh, I don't know. When you start bringing race into the picture, uh, that shit turns me right off. But I think we could all agree, guys, that uh, uh, lard ass, I... I <laughs> I don't even want to say it because I know you guys get bent out of shape with me and all that. But uh, let's continue with uh, this report here. Hang on. All right. So let's continue with the story. Whereas uh, the expression of anger is overwhelming. And obviously it's meant to incite. But it's also quite ironic coming from a group of people who claim to be uh, heroes of the First Amendment. You'd think that they uh, would respect a newspaper's right to publish a story that uh, they don't like. And again, I say she's spot on. Because here are these uh, frauditors who are... Uh, uh, they say they're out there fighting for the First Amendment, freedom of speech and uh, freedom of press. They love spitting that one out. And here, this lady, who's a true journalist, which uh, I think we all understand that they don't like the, the real journalists. They consider them fake news, uh, that they're being uh, told what to say and what they can't say and uh, all other BS, okay? But they still have to respect their, uh, their story, their uh, journalism. Okay, that's the way I see it. You may not be happy with what they got to say or how they report or whatever, but you still got to respect them. Okay, okay. I mean, it, it just, it's mind boggling that these guys, uh, their subscribers are going to suck it up and agree with them because uh, they themselves are hateful people, damn it. And they know that these guys in no way are independent journalists. They use that crap as a, uh, as a disguise, as a way of getting their foot in the doorway, as an excuse to uh, hold a camera and aim it at somebody. Okay, I think we are all well aware of that. Okay, I'm sure we are all well aware of that. If you if you're not, then damn it, you're naive too. Then, but let's get back to the story. All right, so uh, an organized online campaign to uh, harass journalists is uh, it's not championing free speech. It's exactly the opposite. And the Weekly has a uh, proud history of uh, fighting for transparency. They've gone to court and prevailed over the right to publish information from government agencies. Now that says a lot for them. They have a, uh, a reputation, uh, a better reputation than the frauditors do for fighting for transparency. Okay, and uh, again I say that speaks a lot right there. All right, so she further writes, uh, 
First Amendment frauditors are the story. All the story, damn it. Uh, they walk into a space ready to stir up trouble, and uh, when the trouble comes, they act as if uh, they reveal something. And tell me, how many videos have we seen that they go into these locations or they uh, come into contact with law enforcement? They stir up the problem, and then when the officer uh, uh, overreacts or whatever due to their, uh, their stupidity, they, may, they throw it at the subscribers. Look, I told you, uh, the, the officer didn't want us recording him because he's trying to hide something and uh, uh, they're trying to, you know, uh, violate our, yo, know, the same old BS. And, and this comes from a person who, uh, this is her first interaction with a frauditor. Think about those people that have been watching frauditors for quite some time now and they still believe that these guys are out there doing something for the people oh i'm telling you you gotta be stupid to not realize what these guys are doing really now uh, uh this part comes from uh lardass wrote this uh to her overall i'd like to think of myself as a peaceful and relaxed individual however your method of reporting in my opinion is honestly one-sided that's what Lardass wrote to her, okay? Now, here she replies, disingenuine, given that I told them the story was coming and interviewed him before it ran, okay? Now, uh, basic journalism principle at work and entirely uh, inconsistent with his style, which is basically, uh, she's saying that this guy who... Uh, calls himself an independent journalist uh, that's not his style to give people a, a heads up uh, apparently she uh, uh, before she put out the story she communicated with him and uh, listen uh, we all know frauditors don't play by the rules they do what they want to do they want to catch people off guard they don't give anybody heads up like I mentioned it once to Sean that uh, maybe he should try when he goes to these uh, locations or whatever uh, because he's getting he's pretty much he gets bent out of shape and he gets bent out of shape now when he gets kicked out uh, we've seen plenty of videos where they've escorted him out the building and all of a sudden the bitch and Sean comes out so I I commented on a few of his videos. Hey, why don't you try calling the uh, the city hall or whatever location you're going to and give them a heads up. Hey, I would like to go there and I do a uh, I want to show your uh, location to my viewers and and then see if they give you the respect when you get there. But at least give them the heads up and this way nobody bugs out. Nobody gets bent out of shape. You know who the hell is this guy roaming around with a camera? But no, he never answered me back because uh, if he were to do that to give a heads up, then he wouldn't get that reaction because these people depend on that reaction. Frauditors live of catching people by surprise. Like if you watch that video where he went to the social service building and uh, the security guards went on the PA system and uh, threw it out there. Hey, listen, people, uh, we have an individual here exercising his rights to uh, record and uh, you don't want to be on video, leave and then come back when he's done. Now, Sean wanted to throw it out to his subscribers. Look, security, they blowing things out of proportion and uh, blah, blah, blah. It blew his whole fraud it out out of the water blew it out of the water because now uh, again when uh, these frauditors go into uh, social security buildings or whatever location DMV or whatever uh, you'll see people come at them hey why are you here recording and this and that and blah 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 and they either give a silent treatment or they give back some cocky comment and uh, basically the person now gets bent out of shape because they don't know who the hell this guy is is he here trying to uh, cause problems blah 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 and that's the reaction the frauditor is looking for. He's looking for people to get bent out of shape. But now security, when they did that PA deal, I wish all I wish all these locations would do that. A frauder to come in, hey, let everybody know we have a fraud. They don't even have to say fraud. We got an individual here exercising their rights, and uh, that right there puts everybody at ease. Okay, security knows who he is somewhat, and uh, he's here recording. And if you don't want to be recorded, you leave for uh, what 15, 20 minutes, half hour, whatever, and then come back and take care of your business. And listen, frauditors would would pretty much lose the element of surprise. Uh, we listen we all know sean tries to make believe that he goes there to these locations to show his subscribers uh, uh what services are being offered there uh, shows them a few uh, pamphlets uh, applications whatever 
Uh, and he makes it sound like people are going on YouTube, going to his channel to see uh, what services, where they could uh, look for benefits, uh, where they can go sign up for Social Security, food stamps, or whatever the case may be. Picture that shit. Picture somebody going on YouTube to look up uh, Sean's uh, uh, YouTube channel so that they could find out where they can go apply for food stamps and uh, medical service. Oh, my God. Again, I say these people who uh, believe the shit that comes out of their mouth is pretty pretty much uh, stupid in my book. But let's get back to the story because it's coming to an end. And um, all right, now, so apparently she included a uh, good comment that she got from a reader that states, uh, I'm glad you wrote that article and I wish more legitimate journalists would cover these pests who harass public employees and uh, police, writes Mary Carter from the state of Washington. And I uh, I think we could all agree on that. We need the media, the real media, to uh, get involved and let more people know about these uh, knuckleheads out there running around with their cameras. Because uh, again, I'm going to say it, guys, they're not just targeting the government employees and law enforcement, they're targeting we the people. And again, I say if uh, everybody's fully aware of these knuckleheads running around with their cameras and they know what they're up to they lose that element of surprise and maybe just maybe that will put an end to these uh, knuckleheads. Now, uh, she ends the article with uh, my fear is that in our increasingly polarized world the people who most need to hear the truth are not willing or able to listen. That right there says a lot, guys. Uh, uh, people such as uh, judges, uh, DAs, and politicians that uh, could probably uh, help put an end to this crap, uh, they either uh, don't know about this crap or not willing to... Uh, to pay attention to these knuckleheads, okay? Uh, think about it, okay? Uh, uh, the longer we continue to give these guys when they get arrested a slap on their hand and kick them right back on the street, we've all seen it, guys. A lot of these frauditors, they get arrested, what, six, seven times? Oh, whatever happened to a repeat offender? Okay, after twice or three times, that's it. The judge should be like, hey, I'm throwing the book at you. Apparently, you're not catching on that what you're doing is not acceptable. But no, they uh, give them a little slap on the hand, a fine or whatever the case may be, and kick them right back on the street, and they're back at it again. So, uh, listen, I uh, I would love your thoughts on this one, guys, okay? Now, uh, I'm uh, I'm going to put a link to her uh, email at our uh, work or her, her job. I'm asking you guys, do me the favor of emailing her and showing her some support, okay? As we all know, the subscribers to the frauditors have overwhelmed her with nasty and threatening emails. I want to counterattack that. I want to show this lady that we support her true journalism. We support good people that are, uh, come on now, exposing these knuckleheads, okay? So... Let me know your thoughts on the video, guys, and uh, I will see you in the next video. And let me also mention that I will put a link to this article in the description as well. And uh, uh, so you could uh, take the time and read it without me narrating it. Uh, for those of you that I know that uh, don't really like my uh, commentary because I talk too much or whatever the case may be. But again, I say I'll see you in my next video.